Team. Wurmitz is very fine right back. But so now, for Italy, moving around nicely, there's Rita, the left foot! By golly, what a shot! What a shot that was from... What a shot that was from Rita. A fair way out, but you can never be sure with the Brazilians in free-kick situations. Pelé is over the ball, although number 11, Rivellino, is over here as well. Rivellino with the shot, bends it. Pazzola, over the ball, just to the right of the picture is Domingini. It's an indirect free-kick, therefore it's got to be struck twice. Pazzola, Riva. Riva very close, there was a whistle, but I think it came from the crowd. Now, wherever he goes. Rivellino, watch Pele now. What a beautiful goal for Pele. El Rey Pele. 100 goals for Brazil in World Cup competitions, and Brazil take this 1-0 lead. Almost the sort of shot that he tried against Gordon Banks. Banks made the save for England when it was played down in Guadalajara. But Albertozzi had no chance with that one. A very simple goal there by Brazil, but marvellously taken by Pelli. It all just started from a simple throw in here. We can see Tom Dale take it. Rivellino just crushes a simple volley ball, but Pelli's up there like an eagle and a tremendous header. A wonderful goal by Brazil and a wonderful time to go into the... Piazza Wilson. Picking up Rico. Lodo Aldo. Bonicinia through! Bonicinia through on his own! A little chip! Riva now! Riva, Bonicinia! Bonicinia's done it! Bonicinia! 1-1! One, one. And Bonicinia, the man who scored the goal in the semi-finals, capitalising on one mistake and making it a level scores at 1-1. One, one. Bobby Moore. A well taken goal by Anthony, and I think fairly well deserved. But here again, we see this weakness in the Brazilian defence, where Brito, their centre back, ma made another silly pass which was intercepted by the Italian forward. And from the break, they scored the goal to bring them level at one each. Here it is again. Bonicenia chasing. Riva is there. To number 11 is Bonicenia's left foot as he curls that into the empty net, and Felix still walking way back out of. Out of note. Alberto right in behind them. Oh, and there was Pele on the near post. I think he might have hit his head on the post as he went in. Rivellino has wound himself up on a sort of fast bowler's run up about 12 or 15 yards back. Here goes Rivellino now. And he really got hold of that one. Really with a certain amount of frustration about that free kick as Bacchetti cuts out. Bacchetti, one of the most entertaining attacking fullbacks in the business. Boris Senior, Mazzola running to his right. And a good bit of running here by Domingini. And it was deflected off the Veraldo and very nearly in on the near post. Go now, Everaldo. Gervino. Gervino faced by Facchetti. Here goes Gerson. That's a good shot! What a beautiful goal by Gerson! Gerson really cracking that ball on the turn. Scoring the second goal for Brazil. His first goal of the World Cup Finals here in Mexico. And the Brazilians going wild about it. Bobby Moore. A brilliantly taken goal by Gerson. It's been interesting to know that just recently he's been coming uh, forward much more often. And here we can see it in slow motion. Joyez goes to take for catch on and Forgetti does very well. He makes a tackle and Italy probably consider themselves a little bit unfortunate. The Brazil got the break, the ball goes to guess, and now we can see his shot go right across the face of the keeper into the final. So Brazil back in the lead, two goals to one. So, again a free kick then, Gerson. Aiming into the box for Pelé and he's in behind everybody and shows that for Gerzino. And he's walked it into the net. Gerzino keeps his goal again record going. It's 3-1 Brazil. And you have never seen a happier fellow then than Gerzino. There's 19 minutes, 19 and a half minutes of this game left. As Brazil take what looks to me a pretty substantial lead now. I think that's the goal that's going to clinch it for Brazil. We can see this one come from the free kick that we were just talking about a little while ago on the halfway line. A long ball by Gerson to the far post. 
Felix finds a bit of freedom and there's a lovely little headed cushion pass across the face of the goal where Giazzino runs it into the net Albertozzi the Italian goalkeeper who went more for the shot and it just trickled into the net to put Brazil 3-1 into the lead and he's saying that he got something on the head Desisti there for Italy Bonicinia! Bonicinia trying the left foot on the turn. Felix has come well off his line that time. Onto the six yard line. There's the score line. The score line dramatically changed by Gerson and Giardino. Just Gerson himself, the man who's put the Brazilians' noses in front. Clodo Aldo. Brazilians again looking for another goal yet. Giardino, the man who might get it. Pelé, Joseo, here goes Pelé! What a fantastic save, the linesman's flag was up for offside. But it was a great save by Albertozzi, just the same. A game in the semi-finals against West Germany where they had to play extra time and possibly having some effect on them now. And when Brazil get into a situ situation like this, they're very, very difficult to beat. Yes, it would be cruel to say it, but uh, giving away a two-goal advantage can only happen once in the 1970 World Cup. And we know who did that. I don't think Brazil are going to do it here. Erzino. Faced by Facchetti. Oh, it's not a bad ball for Pelle on the right side. It's Carlos Alberto. And what a great goal that was. <laughs> Carlos Alberto. Puts this game surely well beyond the reach. Of almost any side now. 4-1 with three and a half minutes of the game left Carlos Alberto scores his first goal of the competition that is the whole of the 1970 competition a great bit of running a fine ball from Pele, Bobby Moore a wonderful goal there by Brazil good school show and a very very well deserved goal by Carlos Alberto he's worked very very hard this afternoon trying to exploit the space that's been created on the right wing and at last he's got something which he's deserved for it